Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video on how to pick bridesmaids. I made a video on how I made my bridesmaids proposal boxes. Um, if you're interested in that, um, I have a link down below. I'll link you here on my video. Um, but someone asked, can you do a video on how you picked your bridesmaids? And I thought that was a really good idea to do a video on because there's a lot of factors that I went through and I thought about um, for my wedding and for Inky's wedding um, that will help you choose um, bridesmaids and like um, the right bridesmaids. Um, choosing bridesmaids is actually a very, 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 very important thing in planning your wedding because um, those are the people that will be around you 24-7 and helping you get ready for your day. So it's very important to have the right people on your squad, on your team, on your crew, by your side. All right, so first I'm gonna do like some of the steps that I thought of on who should be a bridesmaid and like maybe who shouldn't. And then I'll go into um, the list of duties um, that you assign to each bridesmaid. Um, I made a document um, for Inky's wedding and also I made one for my wedding for just the outline of all the things that you know I would need, I need help with in planning my wedding that my bridesmaids can help me do. And um, I assign each person a task a task that they're going to be able that they're going to be you know getting ready for during this time and they'll be doing on that day. So I'll do that later, but first let me go into first how how to choose a bridesmaid. The first step is make a list. So make a list of all your friends, cousins, um, your siblings, so maybe siblings. Whoa, my shirt is unbuttoned. Um, a list of all your friends, cousins, siblings that you know you want to consider for being in your bridal train. And then from there, you can start dwindling people down. Um, you can have maybe a set number between you and your groom on how many people you want you know, for your bridal train. Um, usually people do an even number. Um, people, I've seen people have three, five, 10, 15, so whatever number that you wanna do um, between you and your groom. I don't know what that noise was. Usually people have an even number. Sometimes I do see weddings where people have an, um, an uneven number. Maybe there's more bridesmaids than groomsmen or more groomsmen than bridesmaids. Um, that's not a problem because you can always, um, depending on how you want them to process on the aisle, there may be two groomsmen with um, one, what was it? Two groomsmen with one, um, with one bridesmaid and then one or one bridesmaid no or two bridesmaids with one groomsman or maybe I think the way I did it with inkies I actually came down the aisle with the ring bearers and then when we were leaving the church I came I came um, out the church with the, the, um, the groom the, the best man so um, you can mix it up like that uh, maybe I don't know do whatever you want it's your wedding like you don't have to do to the book you can just make it unique how you want it don't forget that okay so um, have your list so once you have your list you can let's say you're doing it down to seven people or ten people um, or you want that number so it's like who do you choose um, for me the way I did it was first I based it on who are like my my good friends good friends as in I know there's no thing that I would Say I there's nothing in this world that I know that would make us not be friends um, for any reason five years from now ten years from now twenty years from now um, and they don't necessarily have to be like your close close friend as in like you guys talk every day you know there's some people on my bridesmaid list I've been friends with them with years but I don't talk to them as often as I talk to like my best friend or Inky you know but there's they've been my friend throughout the times we've kept up with each other. Um, they're one of the first people that called me actually I'll, I'll talk about that later so um, so yeah so um, be cognizant of you know you know the friendship because like you don't want to go like five ten years on the down the line I, but it's 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 kind of inev inevitable sometimes but you don't want to go through your your wedding pictures and be like oh my gosh I can't believe Karen was in my bridesmaids she, she was in my pictures and like I hate her I'm not friends with her something like that you know so just be mindful of that Next thing I considered was personalities. Um, I don't want and I hate um, people that have bad personalities, you know, and it's just them, but they always rub people the wrong way because I don't want any drama in 
planning of the wedding leading up to the wedding the bachelorette party the wedding day i don't i don't want any friction with anybody so i made sure that i chose people that have very neutral easygoing personalities that don't rub people the wrong way there was a lot of people that i could have considered to be my bridesmaids group but their personalities never mesh with the majority they never mesh with the majority and there's always trouble there's always drama there's always like it always makes me feel uncomfortable because it's just like i know people don't like her or her personality or what she does things but like you know she's a good friend or she's really nice but it's just i i, I don't want i don't want to feel like i have to speak up for somebody or compensate for somebody or just be like you know it just it's okay just, just ignore her like I, I don't want to go through that so there's a lot of people that I could have considered to be my bridesmaids group but I did not want those types of personalities in my group because they will create drama and it's you have to just be realistic that during wedding time a lot is going on a lot of stressful things are going on so many things going on at once and you're like the last thing you want to deal with is bridesmaids personality next big thing to consider is uh, people's financial situations um you know going down my list there's a lot of people that maybe are still students um i know they're like you're not in the best financial situation right now um still trying to get up on their feet you know still trying to like get there or like looking for a job or something like that so be very 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 aware of how much it will cost to be a bridesmaids and people's situations because the last thing you want to do is you know you pick a dress for people and then half the group is like we can't afford that you know because you know like you 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 want to pay the dress that you want for your girls but then you know you want to be you know um respectful of people's stuff but then it's like you don't want to have to you know really compensate or you know take back in a lot of things because some people's financial situations are the way they are you know so and don't feel like you're being shallow about it because it's actually you know very important one of, actually one of the maybe the first thing you should think about is financial situation like who can you know be able to afford all the stuff that goes into being a bridesmaid so um just be aware of that and just maybe you know maybe reconsider certain certain people because that creates drama even like just to pick like um what is it like the shoe for the bridesmaids you know to you you know twenty dollar shoe at at charlotte Russe is good but maybe someone's just like twenty dollars for a shoe that i'm gonna wear once you know like no or maybe even a hundred dollars might be a chill shoe for you like just normal hundred dollars but if somebody else they're like a hundred dollars for a shoe for a wedding you know so just be mindful of the type of people that you choose to be in your group and then also with the financial situation is like you know planning the bridal shower and then planning the bachelorette party because all the bridesmaids put in for that so you have to be mindful of you know whoever is in charge of planning the bridal shower you know who's that person like are they um an extra person that likes to go all out are they chill about things you know they don't want to spend too much because then it's like everyone else has to put in and also for the bachelorette party you know how big do you want to go do you want to go like out of the country or do you want to keep it quiet in ohio or you want to go to vegas miami california um so you have to be aware of that and like the where aware like you have to be aware of that and also aware of like what you want so your bridesmaids have to know like what kind of what kind of person you are are you chill are you party you know are you like luxurious extravagant or are you just like you know chill like just easy going so you know um you have to find people that will match kind of like what your vision is for like what a bachelor party is for you and like what they'll do to like you know make sure that you have that next thing is trustworthiness um i trustworthiness as in if you give someone a task do you trust them to complete the task or go above and beyond to make sure that that task is completed with flying colors um do you trust people's um time management do you trust people's availability um even um being trustworthy of um one thing as i i did was create a group chat you know on whatsapp for the bridesmaids and this is like you know make sure you don't pick a friend that you know that never reads their me text messages or takes days to reply back to a message a simple message because you don't want to be planning things and you know send out a notice to your bridesmaids about something and it's like you don't get a response back from 
one or two people and you're not sure like what you should do you know so that's another very 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 important thing is like how trustworthy are you of them on being available for you replying you um carrying out a task you know um very well and on time so that's the one thing um a little thing about the, the group chat um a lot of there's a couple of people that i would have considered for my bar students group but it's just like i knew that they're not the most of available or most trustworthy in like replying on time with things so i was like i know that if i send a group text about something i know for sure that person will not reply back to me you know so you need and you don't want that you don't want that in your space you don't want that in the planning so be mindful of that too um next thing i had was like a dutiful person um like the like i, I don't even know if that's a word do like dutiful dutiful like duties like are they are they ready to be like, okay, what do you need me to do? Like, what do I do? Like, you want people, you want your bridesmaids to be asking you, what can I do? What do you want me to do? Do you need me to do this? Da, 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 da. You know, not just like waiting for you to tell them what to do or what you need to do. They need to be able to see like, wait, she needs this or I should suggest this, you know, stuff like that. So are they dutiful? Are they like ready to take on the burden of, you know, coordinating a big wedding coordinating bridesmaids coordinating women because you know how us girls get you know we can be very slow at things at times and like being a group setting but the next thing is like are they genuinely genuinely happy for you you don't want to have a bridesmaid in your, in your group that's you know jealous of you your life your husband you know anything because you know they're always going to have an attitude about everything they're always going to have a side market but a side remark about everything they're not going to be so excited and happy to do anything to make your day perfect you know you don't want someone that's not genuinely happy for you uh, and then i have some don'ts um don't feel like you have to add people because you've known them for a long time um i've i have bridesmaids in my group that i've known just for a couple years and there's other people that i could have considered that I've known maybe all my life but I decide not to include them. Um, don't feel like you have to, you know, add certain friends. Don't feel like you have to add um, certain family members, especially with, you know, African moms and Nigerian moms. You'll have, they'll probably have a whole list of people that they think that you should be including in your bridesmaids group. You know, so don't pick people just because um, some someone else said to include them. Or don't pick people because you feel bad or you want you you feel bad for you know not including them you know and then um don't pick people just just because you know just because you know you want to fill fill the gap of you know the spots for bridesmaids or something like that you know pick people that you genuinely feel happy about that you genuinely feel makes you feel like when i think about my bridesmaids i feel so happy and warm inside because i'm like those girls like you know, like I, I trust them to like make sure that they help me in making my day, you know, the best that it can be. Don't pick people that you know will create drama. I've already said this before, but don't pick people that are drama people, like always have drama, always complaining about something, you know, always feel like they, they're or like needy people, like they're not self-sufficient, you know, like they always feel like they need direction or I need someone to help me, you know, stuff like that. And anything else I want to, I want to throw in there about you know what to think about when choosing a bridesmaid um oh yeah I was gonna say something about yeah my one friend there was one um I have a friend in there in my bridesmaid group that I I don't talk to her every day um we don't live close to each other yeah we've been keeping up with each other over the years we don't live in the same city but we've been keeping up with each other and stuff like that and she always checks in on me i check in on her and you know over the years i just appreciated that she never forgot about me in her busy life and i never forgot about her in my busy life and she was like one of the first people that called me um the day i got engaged like she was actually the first friend that called me when i got engaged and we had like a video chat about it and stuff she video called me so it was just like I know it just made me feel happy that you know even though we're far away from each other we don't talk every day but she still you know considers me a good friend and I consider her a good friend and um, she, she didn't forget about me and she was genuinely happy uh, happy for me you know and then when I was like you know I have she has to be bridesmaid because I know that she'll she's happy for me she'll you know she's already asking me like what do I need to do you know on top of things you know asking me like when do we need to send in measurements I got my measurements, my measurements I'm like oh I'm not ready for that yet you know what I mean so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that she's in my group. And there's so many other people that's going to be my group. I'm so excited about. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. You know, so 
this really, it's like it's, it's a good time and the next thing the last thing I want to talk about in choosing bridesmaids is you know sometimes you might have a friend that um, maybe expects you to choose them as a bride for bridesmaid or even asked you oh you know my, I'm gonna be one of your bridesmaids right you know so you have to find a way to like kindly say no or kindly think of another task that you want them to do that's outside of the bridal party and there's so many other roles outside of being a bridesmaid that you still need friends for um, ushers for the church people to pass out um, f gift favors at the end of the, and at the end of the reception people you need people to seat people not just at church but also at the reception you need people to help you you know run run messages back and forth to people so you there's always there's always a job you can help to f you can give someone that you did not consider to be in your bridesmaids group you know to to do just so that they feel like you know you are still my friend but you know I actually have a better job that I really need someone to help me with you know so another thing for the Africans I bring in um, um, brides out there if you have some friends that you didn't put in your group but you still feel like you want them to be a participant participate in your wedding um, um, a shabby group so I do have an shabby group that I will be forming and um, a, a lot of good friends that I know will actually be a better at helping me um, curtail is it that the word to use or con crowd control the guests at the church at the reception help with favors help with all those like other things you know that I may not be able to do or my bridesmaids might not be able to do so I have an, a shabby group so and a shabby group can be like 30 50 100 people whatever how many people you want in there but um, that's also a helping hand in your wedding day so people that you didn't put in your in your bridesmaids group you know you have a good group of a shabby girls that will be doing a like they may they actually are the people that probably have the most working feet during that day you know you'll be seeing them doing this and doing that and da 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 so um, consider that if you have a bunch of friends that you don't want to put in your bridesmaids group but you still want them to be a part of your wedding okay so I made a document for Inky's wedding and I'm using it for my wedding on just the roles of what you need everyone to do and also the breakdown of like you know um, um, church dress reception dress jewelry shoes hairstyles all that stuff so I actually made a document to sh I share with the bridesmaids that help us you know kind of have a like a to-do list for everybody so this is what it looks like it's actually there's a picture of the 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 movie cover of the the bridesmaids movie that I use it was I thought it was cute so I made this on word like that's on Mac so I think it's pages I don't know so um, it just says bridesmaids to-do list I'll just run down on things that I have on here um, so first this is like material things like clothes and accessories so I have um, the satin robes for getting ready um, that's going to be a cost um, jewelry for all the bridesmaids plus shoes um, the, their actual bridesmaids dress and if you're going to do a second dress for the reception so that's what I'm doing I'm doing a church dress and a second dress for the reception um, let's see measurements um, um, bachelorette party so measurements you know make sure that um, everyone brings in their measurements for the clothes if you're having it made um, usually I, I don't know it's it, it's not it's, it's a Nigerian wedding so we actually have a Nigerian tailor that's gonna be making our dresses and stuff like that so but you don't have to do that you can just go to like any bridal store or even you don't have to even go to a bridal store any maybe a prom dress store or even like an online boutique that has new dresses anything can be a bridesmaid's dress okay um, let's see um, bachelorette party um, bridal shower makeup artist because that'll be a cost to everybody um, hotel um, we'll be staying at a hotel um, during the whole weekend so you know you have to assign um, rooms for each of the bridesmaids so you have to find a sign a room captain that's what we did like send a room captain the person that's name the hotel name is going to be under their the hotel room is going to be under their name so they have to be responsible to make sure that they they t call the hotel to check in um, and then they have their roommates for their hotel room so you just divide it up like that so then we have bridesmaids responsibility so let me before I get into responsibility um, let me go back to the bridesmaids to-do list so 
This, what I just said, all these have a cost to it, so that's why I put it on here as bridesmaids to-do list first, because these are the things that everyone needs to start thinking about cost and saving their money for. So as I said, the, the, the satin robes, um, the jewelry, the shoes, the bridesmaids dress are going to be two. Um, make sure everyone gets their measurements. Um, bachelorette party, everyone puts in for the bachelorette party for things. Um, the bridal shower, everyone puts in for that. The makeup artist, and then the, the hotel. Um, I said that before. So um, those are like the stuff that has costs for everybody. Now the bridesmaid responsibility. Um, now this is a part where you assign each bridesmaid a task to be doing during the wedding planning time and during the wedding day. Um, there's a lot of things to be doing. So it's easier to assign someone a task so you know the, who's responsible for it. And it's also so that, you know, everything can have one person responsible so it can be done right instead of a bunch of people trying to do the, all this, all things at the same time. So um, the way we did it for Inky's wedding, the way we did it for my wedding, is that you pick the person based on their personality on what you think they'll be good at. So everyone's different, everyone has their strong points, their weak points, you know, you, already, you probably already experienced people, how they plan things, how they do things, so you're, you should already know who will be the best at a certain thing. So we have, um, so the first thing is host the bridal shower. I have three girls that will be hosting the bridal shower. Um, these are the people that I know that know me very well, so they know what I would like to see at my bridal shower. Um, they're very organized, they're, they're planning people, um, coordinating people, so those are people that I picked to do the bridal shower. Now, shoes and accessories for the bridesmaids. So I assigned one person to choose, you know, the shoes and the accessories for the bridesmaids. Um, you know, just pick a shoe style and pick a jewelry style. Um, maybe someone that's very fashionable or maybe someone that's really, that you, you know that they're really good at picking, you know, pieces for themselves. And you're like, you know what, you're really good at dressing yourself. You know, you always have the really nice jewelry and stuff like that. So you'll be good at picking shoes and accessories for the bridesmaids. Something like that. The next thing is host a bachelorette weekend. Um, the same people that I have doing the bridal shower, I have hosting a bachelorette weekend. Um, I know, as I said, they're planning people, they're organized, they know, they know me the best, they know what I would like, and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Bridal emergency kit. So this is like, um, like the person will put a kit together, maybe a bag or something of just emergency things for the bride, and also for the bridesmaids. Um, and I put on here, um, like, you know, mints, bobby pins, gum, lip gloss, tape, you know, just th certain little things that, you know, like needle and thread, lint remover, any little thing that you know that we'll all need as women for emergency, that one person is responsible for building an emergency kit, you know, for that day. So I have one person that's doing that. Um, snack coordinator for the wedding day. So during the wedding time, some people forget that we'll be getting ready all day and we're gonna need food. So I have one person that's responsible for making sure that, you know, they call a caterer to cater some breakfast for us or something, or they, they're they the ones that are gonna go out and buy the food. Just, they're in charge of making sure that there's food for us that day. Um, the next person is, let's see, the middleman messenger. So this is the person where that's gonna be running back and forth between, you know, talking to the bride, um, the, the wedding coordinator, the planner, the parents, the groom, you know, the decorator, the cameraman, the photographer, um, all that stuff like that. So that's the one person you know that they're really good at, you know, um, keeping organized, making sure everyone's on top of things, you know, so that you don't have to, you don't have to worry too much about, you know, oh, I need to call my mom, oh, I need to call it, and you have just say, oh, um, Stephanie, can you please call my, my planner, um, I need this she'll do it, you know, or Stephanie, can you please make sure that the groomsmen are getting ready, or can you please call my husband and ask him, does he have the rings, or call my mom, make sure that she's getting ready, stuff like that, so you have that one person that will be, you know, going back and forth with messages between people, and also that's the person that, um, what's it going to say, that will have everybody's numbers, so, um, well, what you do is you have a list of numbers for the, the your mom, your dad, the groom, um, the groom's parents, the cameraman, the video man, all those people, you give that, you give your bridesmaids that list of all the people so that when you say, oh, Stephanie, um, text the coordinator and tell her what time she would be at church. So then she has the coordinator's number, you know, way beforehand of the wedding day, you have that list of numbers for her so that you don't have to worry about like, oh, it's on my phone. Oh, do you have that person's number? You know, so stuff like that. 
The next thing is wedding day hairstyle. So you just pick one person that will be in charge of choosing the hairstyle for all the girls. Um, they can be someone that's really good at hair. So I picked someone that's really good at hair that will be choosing the style. They're not doing the hairstyle, but they'll be just choosing the style. They can also be the person that maybe finds a hairstylist, you know, for that for that day. So just that person is in charge of making sure that you know we have all the hair stuff together, hair accessories that we need, finding a stylist, choosing the style, you know, based on everyone's hair hair type. So that's that. And the next thing is the gift secretary. So this is the person that will be in charge of collecting gifts during any time. So bachelorette weekend, bridal shower, um, wedding day, the day after the wedding. So they're the person that, you know, will be in charge of, you know, getting people's names done and who got what. Um, collecting the gifts and putting them in their car to take to wherever you're going to keep your gifts at. This is a person that, that's taking care of gifts in any situation during the whole wedding planning time. The last thing I have is the bridesmaids coordinator. So this is the person that will keep all the girls on a timetable, keep them on track. So you will have like a whole timetable of you know the, the wedding day. So you gotta make sure that there's one person that's in charge of making sure that everyone's where they're supposed to be at the right time. Cause you don't wanna be the bride and being like, um, where's Stephanie? She's supposed to be getting her makeup done at this time. Or where's Sheila? Like she's supposed to be here or you know, so you have that one person that makes sure that has the, the whole day um plan with times and is making sure that everyone's where they're supposed to be at, at any time. This includes the bachelorette weekend, the bridal shower, the wedding day, the reception, the day after. Um, for example, let's see, like say for the bachelorette weekend, you know, make sure that, you know, you have all the girls' itineraries when they're gonna land. Or um, if you're on bachelorette weekend and you guys going to dinner, like make sure that there's one person that's like, you know, making sure all the girls are getting their hair, they're getting, they're getting ready, you know, keep it up on time. You have dinner reservations at eight o'clock, Finish your hair, finish your makeup, get dressed, come on girls, you know, some, someone like that. So I have someone that's really good at that, that I picked to do that. Whew, I talked a lot. So I hope that was helpful for anyone that's planning on um, getting married soon, um, trying to plan a wedding, trying to figure out, you know, how to pick bridesmaids, and all the duties that go into being a bridesmaid. Bri being a bridesmaid is not just about putting on a dress and looking cute for pictures. There's a lot of behind the scenes that go on, and you want someone that's gonna be there to really help you to make sure that everything's going right, everything's coordinated, that you're happy, that you're content, that any problems that come up, they're able to solve it without having to go to you and bother you about it during that day, so. That's all I had to say. Um, if you guys have any other tips, leave them down below in the comments to help other people. If I missed anything on considering for a bridesmaid and some bridesmaids duties, um, this was just a, a list that I made out of my head. I didn't like, you know, take it from anybody or like, you know, download or anything like that. I just thought of like, okay, for my wedding day, I need someone to do this. I need someone to do this. So, you know, you don't have to use the list I use. You can make one for yourself based on how, you know, your wedding's gonna be and stuff like that. Um, what else I want to say? Hmm. I think that's it. If I have anything else to say, I'll put it in the comments or in the, the um, description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll, um, video on my hair down below and I'll link it at the end. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.